Finding a particular college that offers the program you want can be a frustrating search, so today we're going to look at two college search sites that can be found in the SCLC webliographies. I do want to mention that these sites do not list every college or university, however they can be good places to start your search. From the Reference Center tab, you will get our webliographies and they are organized by subject. We're going to start with social science and drill down. I'm going to click on education and literacy and then on colleges and the results will display on the right side alphabetically. The first site we're going to look at is College View. The College View College Finder and Recruiting Service provides multiple ways to conduct a college search. You can search by area of study, by the name of the school, the location, United States or Canada, and there's some additional search options, tuition and fees for both in and out of state, school type, which are also available down here, community college, Christian colleges, and historical black colleges and universities, which is HBCU, as well as minority representation. If you click on location, it lets you limit it to different miles from your particular zip code and name if you know the name of the school you can type it in here or choose the first letter of the school. What's nice about this is it has this advanced search feature so if I wanted fashion and I don't see fashion on here I can search for schools that have a fashion degree program. So let's say I'm interested in fashion schools in the Los Angeles area. I click on the advanced search and I can add all these different criteria. Let's start with location and I'm going to add California. So I click on California and I'm going to go back to my search criteria. I'm now going to search for my area of study and I can type in fashion and go and it gives me four different areas of fashion. I'm mostly interested in fashion apparel and design so I click on that and add it. I can add more than one so I can add fashion merchandising but I'm really only interested in design so I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to go back to my search criteria and check that they're both there which they are. So then I search now and I get my list of schools. It says that there's 41 schools, however they're only showing five. I'm assuming that these are the schools that are paying for this service, but if you click the See More link down here, you will get all 41 schools. If I click on one of the schools, I will get a video tour of the school, which is here, and then some key facts. There's enrollment information, estimated financial information, campus facts, and admissions department and financial aid department contact information. If I scroll to the top and click on the majors and degrees, I will find all the different majors and degrees that the school offers. So FIDM offers much more than just fashion. There's animation, business, graphic design, many different more majors. And it shows the degrees and they're primarily associate degrees with this one business as a bachelor's degree. I can also compare different schools with this search um, site which is pretty handy. So let and it lets you do six at a time. So let's choose six different ones in the Los Angeles area. And once I've chosen the schools, I come back up here and click on this compare button and I get this really nice comparison chart. So I can see public-private, the location, admissions types of information, tuition, complete tuition fees, and private is definitely more expensive than public, and some other statistics. And then if I click on this next school tab down here, I get to see the other schools that I have selected. So that's the College View search. The next one we're going to look at is the Peterson's 
College Search, which is back on the Reference Center Colleges Search page. And if I scroll down here, I come back to Peterson's College Search. This site is a searchable version of Peterson's Annual Guides to College Programs. And not only does the site cover undergraduate schools, but it also covers graduate schools, private secondary schools, and online schools. We land directly on the Colleges and Universities page, but from their home page, you see the Colleges and Universities and the different areas that you can limit it to, the graduate schools, the online education, and the K-12. through We're focusing on the Colleges and Universities page, and particularly the Finding a School, although it does tell you the whole college process here, from getting started to paying for a school. It does offer you um, the preparatory tests, which they are selling their tests, but there's also good essay tests, tips, and proven strategies. And these four categories relate to these four tabs up here. So if we click on Find a School, there's a college search by subject. And the number in these parentheses here are associated subjects taught for each of these different areas. So for legal professions and studies, there's seven associated topics, and those are listed here. And then the number in this parentheses relates to how many schools offer this program. So there's 174 schools that offer the Legal Assistant Paralegal Program. And if you click on that, you get the list of schools. And if we click on this Andover College in Maine, we get overview information for this college and then a nice feature over here is it gives you similar colleges so this can help you either broaden or narrow your search to colleges that um, are similar to something that you have found that you like. So back on the find a school link let's look at their search engine. They have this detailed college search with these five major criteria and let's look at the same search that we did before, fashion schools in Los Angeles. So I'm going to choose basic and academics and continue. And I need to add my criteria. So I choose United States and add that. I can limit it. So I want it to limit it to California. So I choose California and add that. As a fashion student, I'm interested in an urban setting, but I'm not going to limit anything to student population or tuition. I'm going to choose both public and private, so it's similar to my other search. And I'm not going to choose any affiliations. So Peterson's doesn't have a keyword search, so I'm going to have to use their criteria. I'm not sure about the degree. I'm going to leave that open. And for my major, let's see, I don't see art. I don't see fashion. There's liberal arts, but I'm not sure about that. And if I scroll down, there's visual and performing arts, which looks more like it. And I find fashion and apparel, and I add that. And I am not going to choose any of these other criteria. I'm just going to click on Get Results. And here I get 20 searches or results, which is less than the other one, which was 41. However, I get some different schools and some different information. Um, this is telling me it's moderately difficult to get into and non-competitive. So. These are the two sites that we um, looked at today, Peterson's, which um, had the advantage of being able to narrow it to different types of school, graduate, undergraduate, online, and K through 12. And they had more limiters and definitely provided different schools than the College View search. The College View search had more schools and primarily undergraduate, but allowed um, some major limiters to add to that search result. So hopefully you'll be able to use these two sites to assist your patrons with their college searches.